Now this video I just changed this tensioner pulley right here and I put a different uh, V-drive belt on. We used to call them fan belts. Uh, maybe a couple tips that if you ever broke down you could use an emergency one. I'll show you that. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to go to is the tensioner pulley and it's a little mechanics trick if it's too much and we're gonna get this off of here like that now they have a tool that'll go behind this and do it the one thing you gotta know about taking this off is that it doesn't go that way like it always does on when you take something off it basically goes this way so if you're gonna take that you have to know exactly which way the bolt goes off I've seen some guys snap this so we're gonna get this off like that and we're going to take it right off make sure there's no shims or anything on it then we're going to get the new one this one's a little different it's made out of plastic put it right on there and I always put a little oil or a little grease on and we go this way with our tensioner and tighten it up that way very important to know which way to go right there it's not moving how come now here's something you have to look out for I had to put a shim in there because uh, this part was rubbing up against the plastic so I added a little washer in there to shim it out so it spins good. And then you gotta, after you get it all in, you gotta line it up. Then you line. Get that in. Then we put our belt back on. We start it up and make sure we're in line. So now we're looking at it running. We know that it's all lined up. Everything's lined up. So we got that all running good. I look over here. Before I go changing my V-belt, I always do a diagram to make sure that if I take it off, I know exactly how I go. Now I'm going to show you. They also make what they call uh, an emergency fan belt. I mean, that's what I call it. This one has no air pump and no power steering. So I'm somewhere way out in the boondocks and the power steering pump blows up or the, or the power steering pump blows up or the air pump blows up. Uh, I always carry an extra water pump, an extra alternator and an extra one of these. Uh, the fan belt would be the issue. So I don't want them to say to me, okay, we'll get you another air pump in two more days. Well, I don't have time for that. So I'm, I'm going to put this... Uh, no air pump, no power steering, air conditioner pump on the truck. So I'm going to take the old one off, just like that. And I'm going to get my, what I call the emergency one, and I am going to put it on. I got the shroud off of here so it'll be easier filming. And then this it goes like this. It bypasses the air pump. And it goes directly on there. So there I go. I bypass the power steering pump. I bypass the air pump and it's just enough to get me home. So that's it. That should that's the end of the video.